Shazam 15 here. Now, this week's review is, um, in a word, fascinating. Actually, we are on about Sherlock Holmes, The Game of Shadows. Now, story-wise, this appears to be just a... Well, I suppose it's a compressing of all the Professor Moriarty stories into one. But, then again, I'm not 100% familiar with the actual works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, so I can't give you a complete... I'm not 100% sure about whether or not I'm correct in this assumption, but it certainly seems that way. Well, to be fair, I love the Sherlock Holmes films, and I always feel like I should watch them again and again and again just to see what it is that Holmes saw, because when you watch it the first time, you don't always pick up on what he picks up on. All right, to the performances. Robert Downey Jr. gives a perfect rendition once more of Holmes. He has this lovely habit of being able to play brilliant but drug-addicted characters. Iron Man, of course, being the other one. Um, but then again, that's rather natural because, well, he did have a past. Alright, um, Reg McAdams reprises her role as Adler. Now, this one seems to be far more of a supporting role than it was in the previous film, but it works reasonably well. Uh, Watson is Watson, and Watson's Mrs. Watson is Mrs. Watson. It all works out reasonably well. Uh, the new characters, Moriarty, is played beautifully. Although, to be honest, for me, the only Moriarty will ever will always be the one portrayed in Star Trek: The Next Generation. The sentient hologram character just. That's my definitive idea of Moriarty. So it was a different Moriarty, but it was a well played Moriarty. The use of the historical background as plot is a lovely device. Um, right, back to the characters, because I forgot to get to my personal favourite bit of casting. I love Stephen Fry as Sherlock Holmes' brother. It's a brilliant choice. They don't really seem that fraternal, but. There's just something wonderful about Fry calling Sherlock Shirley. It's hilarious. Basically, the casting is wonderful, and I will admit there is a tiny bit of predictability when you see a certain site, you sort of know they're going to be cheeky and use that. Uh, the chess game is brilliant. Uh, I'm trying not to spoil too much the plot for you. Basically, decent enough casting, lovely points, nice bit of historical background. I think probably the most interesting thing is you're sitting there and knowing, as most of us do know of even the tiniest bit of history, knowing basically the plot expunges makes a statement about human nature that you want to go oh no you're wrong but you know history I basically I want to shout praises to this but if I shout praises to it it gives away too much of the plot it's one of the good things about Sherlock Holmes basically it's worth watching again and again and again for me I hope it's the same for you. Basically, it is up to the par of the previous film. If anything, there's even been improvements. The only drawback is, well, Adler's less of a character than she was in the previous one, but uh, then again, any characterization would probably detract from the film. Anyway, uh, enjoy watching it. If you want to go watch it, if you want to say no, say no. But I loved it. And I want to watch it again. But, you know, I've got to bring you guys reviews every week, so. TTFN. See you next week.